Uh, just lastly, man, a big heavyweight fight happening this uh, this weekend. Kind of two things, actually. Big heavyweight Anthony Joshua versus Provecian, but we um, just hearing right now that uh, Wilder Fury might actually be in LA. So, kind of let's first Anthony Joshua Provecian. How do you see that fight playing out? So, supposedly Fury and Wilder might be in Staples Center in December, they're looking at. So, that obviously, that's a huge fight. Obviously, we're going to get that right. I just, I just heard about that. Right, yeah. <laughs> just on right. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, I'm going to go? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Let's talk about that real quickly first. If that were to happen, it seems like that's on the road to happening for sure. If that fight were to happen, Fury versus Wilder, how does that play out? Bro, I think... Who wins the shit-talking battle, too? <laughs> I think... I like Fury, bro. He's entertaining. I like him as, as a... As a... As a um, entertainer. Like, he entertains... He's like... You can't hate him. He just, he's like the guy, you know? He's got... He brings in a good good mood. I mean, just this vibe is, is there. Uh, so, I think he wins in that. Hands down. Uh, Wilder, he's just a loud talker. I mean, he, he backs it up, no doubt. Uh, but as far as the fight goes... Man, it's a it's a it's a difficult one for for Fury. Uh, Wilder, I, I mean, we all seen it with his last fight against Ortiz and the one before that. Uh, I mean, but it's no easy fight. It's no easy fight for Wilder either. Tyson, I think out of and I respect this out of uh, uh, Joshua and and Wilder. I mean, out of uh, yeah, Joshua and Wilder. Wilder took the hardest fight, bro. Uh, against, uh, uh, oh no, I'm sorry, against Fury. Fury. Right. Against Fury, bro. So, um, you know, these are fights that are are just going to cement his legacy, you know, uh, talking about Wilder. And that's that's what we want as, as a heavyweight. You don't want him to fight, like, easy fights in between and then go to that big fight, as we've seen many heavyweights. Oh, this guy's fighting good fighter. After, bro, my respects, that Ortiz fight... King Kong fight, he, he was losing. I think he was out. He, the way he came back, my he was out on his feet. I thought the way he came back, man, that shows a lot of heart. Anthony Joshua, he's taking on easy fights, you know, picking opponents, not taking anything away from him. I'm actually a big fan. I was going for him two years ago when they asked me if uh, uh, Wilder and him were to fight. I said, no, Anthony. A year back, I was like, ah, maybe Anthony. But this year, no doubt Wilder. If they were to fight next year, I think Wilder is just. His style, bro, is just so awkward. His angles, his movement, his punches come from nowhere. And top it off, he hits. <laughs> he punches like a mule, you know? So, so um, I have both, you know, big names winning, meaning Wilder and Anthony Joshua. And let's just hope that by, my, by next year we get that mega fight that uh, we've all been waiting for. Is, is Joshua Pavekian, you're kind of in your mind, just to kind of go about the motions and so he'll, he'll, he'll kind of the dust will settle and Joshua will be out. I believe Anthony Joshua should win that fight easy um, and just move on, you know, as well as um, Wilder. I, Wilder will have a little more problem with the Tyson Fury. Um, but I think eventually I think both of them will, will move up and move on and uh, fight each other next year. Did, did the Ortiz fight, speaking of Wilder versus Joshua in the future, did the Ortiz fight being that he got rocked and kind of, I mean, he did get it together, pull it together and, and kind of come back. But so, I mean, obviously you proved that, but did that kind of the scare, I guess, change your mind at all as far as like Joshua and, and Wilder, how that plays out? That and, and, and it's a good good thing you bring it up. It's just the, the fact that those fights make you better fighter, bro, period. When, when, when Anthony Joshua fought a Klitschko and the way he came back and beat him, he made him a monster fighter, a better fighter. But then he took an easier fight and, you know, but like, bro, like you got to keep pushing yourself, get those mega fights, get better, you know. And I think, yes, to answer your question, this last fight against Ortiz, I mean, just my respects to Wilder, and he earned a fan here, and um, I can't wait to see what he does with the, a, another monster, you know, on, on Fury. Yeah, man, that's going to be a, a great fight when it happens. Thank you so much, Evan. Appreciate your time, brother. Tell the fans, man, where they can follow you. I know you're always at uh, all these marisco spots out here <laughs> in L.A. Tell them. <laughs> I love Mexican restaurants. I love my food. Um, luckily, I'm, I'm not that type that just blows up. Um, but you can follow me at Instagram, at Abner Mares, uh, Twitter, at Abner Mares, Facebook, Abner Mares, dot one. There it is, brother. Appreciate you, bro. As always, man. Thank you. Thank you.